What happens to your food? Before your food can be absorbed into your blood, it has to be changed considerably. And this process is called digestion. You first cut up your food into small pieces with your teeth, while a fluid called saliva reduces it to a soft pulp in your mouth, stirred by your tongue. When it is ready to be swallowed, it passes down a soft, fleshy tube called the esophagus, which goes down in front of your spinal column to your stomach. The pulp is again stirred up, this time by the movement of the stomach muscles, and it is acted on by the gastric juices inside the stomach to continue preparation for absorption by the blood. Some of the liquids in the pulp are absorbed through the walls of the stomach during this process and pass into the blood. After from two to six hours, the remaining food passes into the small intestine, a tube some 20 feet long, which is wonderfully folded and packed. Here, more fluids coming from the liver and the pancreas continue the digestive process, extracting the good from the food and passing it into your blood. Finally, the indigestible matter goes into the large intestine, moving slowly into the lower part, the rectum, sometimes referred to as the bowels, until it is later expelled from the body through the anus.